Hey, what's up everybody? So today I've got a quick beat groove to show you guys. It's kind of an add-on to my How to Start Playing Drum series that I put out with Drumeo. If you haven't checked that out, click the link in the top of the description. You get five awesome lessons for free. All you gotta do is put in your email and they'll be sent to you. So what I wanted to do is for you guys that have been checking that out, and even if you haven't checked it out, if you just wanna learn a new groove, I want to show you this groove. And this one is something that has a lot of different pieces to it that you can work on at different points. So no matter where you are in your drumming, as far as a entry level or beginner, or it's the first time playing, or it's someone who's been playing for maybe a year, or even longer than that, there might be something here for you to work on. Now, there's four different pieces incorporated into this. There's the hi-hat, there's the kick, and the snare, your normal hits on those, and then there's also something called a ghost note on the snare. So I want to focus on each piece real quick and break down what is going on. The hi-hats are subdivided one and two and three and four and. And that may be something that is not so familiar or easy for you to do if you're just starting drums or you've only been doing it for a little while. So that's something to focus on first. Get your metronome out and work on those eighth notes on the hi-hat, which is the subdivision. One and two and three and four and. If you can play that really well with a metronome, then you may want to add in the snare. The snare is on two and four without the ghost note. I would start with that. So one and two and three and four and. Once you feel comfortable with that, think about the kick drum. For some of you who are just starting out or newer drummers, playing the kick on one and then doing eighth notes, three and, might be a little bit difficult, especially with your hi-hat because then you're thinking about multiple things doing multiple things at the same time. <laughs> Great way to describe that. But that is the basis of the groove. I'm going to play it without the ghost notes so you can hear it. So. That right there isn't too complicated. It's a good groove to practice and get the hang of. And if you practice really hard, work on it, I think you should have that in no time. Now here's what you wanna work on, and I think is the coolest part of this groove. It's such a minor little thing, but it adds such a huge nuance to your playing. And so what this is, is it's called a ghost note. And on the snare drum, a ghost note is something that's played a lot lighter than your normal stroke. A normal stroke is like this or this. The first one I did a rim shot with it, which is how I like to hit the snare. But a ghost note is a lot less volume and you're actually trying to almost be as quiet as you can with it. It kind of depends on the style of music and, and where you are and whether or not you want it to really be heard or just more so felt. But a ghost note could be as soft as, or sometimes louder like, like this. So I'm going to play a little bit of a phrase with some ghost notes added in so you can kind of get a feel for what they're like. So those are some ghost notes. Now, for the placement of the ghost note in this groove. It's on a 16th note, and if you haven't heard of 16th notes yet, they're counted 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, played like this. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Now, the ghost note is on the a uh of 2. So if you're counting it out, you go 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. How I like to think about it is the ghost note is on the 16th note right before the kick goes 3 and. So you're playing the groove. and you just slip in that ghost note and it adds just a little bit of flavor, like this. I'm gonna play it slow for you guys.
So there you have it. That is the groove. A little bit of something to work on with each piece there, especially the ghost notes. Once you get the hang of putting that one in there, flip it up a little bit. Flip it up. Switch it up. Whatever you want to do. Um, add it in at some different points. You can add it in like this. Where you add it on the uh of four as well. So it comes in right before each bass drum kick or you can add in some extra ones. And that right there just adds that flavor and that interest to your kick pattern when you put it in between there like that. So that's the groove. If you haven't checked out my How to Start Playing Drums series with Drumeo, click the link in the top of the description. You get five free lessons. It's super awesome. I go over the kit. I tell you everything that you should know as a beginner drummer and even some things that you might not think about coming in later. Like if you haven't really you know, gotten some instruction at a young age when you started playing drums or in your first few years, you may learn something. I'm not going to be able to teach you everything in a starter series, but there may be something that you missed and you didn't hear that will change the way you think about drumming. So check it out. It's free. Put in your email. Enjoy it. I've got more awesome lessons from Drumio coming, so if you haven't signed up yet, put in your email. It'll be sent to your email when you are ready for it. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for a new cover coming soon. Got something really awesome for you guys, and I'm excited about it. Bye.